I just asked him, he said it's out of the question. <laughs> yeah, but we said that when it was out of the question at one time too. When, sure. <laughs> you had a little concern of him training in the, in the Philippines. You said he wasn't 100% focused. Now that he's training here in the U.S., do you feel more comfortable? He's a little more focused? 100% more focused. 100% more focused. Was there a lot of distraction? Well, Congress and the president, people, uh, everyone wants a piece of money back out of the how does that feel when, when you're in the middle of the train and you get the call and you say, hey, we got it. Oh, the <laughs> Get him on your time, not mine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, like, uh, how do you feel about Margarito saying that he's going to prove to the world that it wasn't the hand wrap, that he's going to go for the knockout? Uh, this fight has nothing to do with what happened in the past. I mean, he's the one who got caught, so... Hey Freddie, Amir Khan, uh, are you concerned at all about his chin? I mean, what do you think about that first round knockout? Hopefully, they, they, you know, as soon as we fight Madonna, and after we knock Madonna out, and don't lose a round against him either. Yeah. Um, that, that 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 might go away a little bit. He's, He got knocked out once in his life, and you know, all of a sudden he has no chin. I mean, maybe back out got knocked out twice. Yeah. He, he became the greatest fighter of his era. Well, if it, I mean, if you've done anything to fix it, it's the de defense. We watched a Malinaji fight. His defense was tight the whole way. Ring movement, his gloves were up the entire time, sticking and moving. He's a very disciplined person. Yeah. You know, he's a great listener. He has, a, he has a lot of similarities to Manny, actually, with his speed and so forth. I'm gonna ask you about a couple fights. You tell me how it comes out. Paul Williams, Sergio Martinez. Who cares? Who cares? More than the first time. <laughs> really? When it comes when it comes to boxing, you're like a scientist and dissecting other people. Yeah. Paul Williams is a real nice guy. I know I've met him in some places. I don't I don't remember my team. Oh you know, I, I think Williams is winning the fight. Uh, you know, Both active fighters and active punches are like this, but you can't have no knockout power. It's no fun. Freddie. Sure, oh. sure. No, go ahead. Go. When it comes to boxing, you're like a scientist in dissecting the other people's game plan. Do you think that's why Mayweather wants no part of it? No. He, has got, he, wants, he, he just he wants to protect his zero. <laughs> as long as he has the zero, he can say he's the best. Hey, Freddie, I'm going to be honest, okay? There's no question Pacquiao is phenomenal. In my opinion, he's top 10 all time. But Styles make fights, and four out of five times, the boxer beats the puncher. How does he beat Mayweather? Well, we can take into consideration one guy averages 15 punches around, one guy averages 80 punches around. Is the 15 punch guy going to beat the guy that throws 80? So he's going to beat him on activity? Activity and more of the not by himself. What's that? Can't fight true. True. Yeah, Thank you, Freddie. Yeah, thank Freddie. Hey, Freddie, are you the best trainer in the world? No, I just train the best fighter in the world. Who's, who's a better trainer than you? What are your thoughts on Emmanuel Stewart? Is he better than you? There's a short list on the great trainers out there right now. What do you think? Um, you know, it's all relative of the, of the fighter you have and how you and the fighter get along. So yeah, he knows how to chemistry. Get along with his fighters, I get along with mine. So, you know, I mean, you know, let's face it, when the bell rings, me and him sit down. We don't fight. So. Yeah. You think Eddie Fudge would be happy with what you've done with Pacquiao so far? Yeah. He'd have to be. How would he? He'd be very 
proud of him. Yes. How would he? Look, okay, I'm sorry. Good. He's, uh, yeah, thank you for all he's done. Yeah. How would he have raised uh, brought Pacquiao up differently? Because he's developed a tremendous amount since you took him on. Would Eddie have done anything different? Uh, I'm a little more lenient on uh, new technology and so forth than Eddie was more in school. Uh, Philosophy? Alex a reason to me to take him in to a pool or a track because Eddie was around. Yeah. Did he ever talk to you about uh, beating Muhammad Ali? Because he was like Ali Kryptonite. Anytime somebody gave Ali trouble, he was in the other corner. Yeah, we talked about that quite a bit. I mean, I've heard any fun stories from, you know, from guys who were like me. And every lesson he learned was based on a story of a little fighter. He had so much history, so um, maybe I'm like him sometimes now. Uh, yeah. This is, all my, uh, this is all we do. So, but Eddie was a great guy, and you know he's, he's like got me, got me out, you know, out of the bar and back into boxing. Yeah. Just uh, gave, gave me a job as his assistant because uh, after my last pro fight, I wasn't doing really well. Uh huh. So he's just drinking a lot. And, uh, he said he's straight. So, yeah, he, he told me there was a fighter called Tuffy Stevens that was a, a guy like me, but he got shot and killed. And he told me that he doesn't want that to happen to me. So he, he taught me lessons in all aspects of life. I mean, not just boxing. But, so, nice. He's a great guy. Yeah. Do you think you'll ever get your own uh, great heavyweight champion to train? I mean, he had Frazier, he had Riddick Bowe. Do you think ever, you'll ever get yours? I don't really care about the weight division. I think the small one has better fibers and uh, can be more teachable and some of the things to make guys just have uh, more heavy hand. I think the small guys are better, are better much better than tech, technically much better fibers. So I'm happy where I'm at. Yeah, what's the latest on James Tony? I haven't seen James in a while. That's a shame. I wish him luck in that last fight, but exactly what I predicted would happen to happen. Yeah. Uh, did, you, did you watch it live? No, I wouldn't waste my money, man. <laughs> Or your time. Yeah. I was in the plane, so. I got gotcha. you. Hey, Freddie, how does it feel?